Hey guys, uh, today we would like to show you how you can mount uh, the new undersea tank from Rally Garage to the 950 Super Enduro. Uh, the first stage is fairly easy. Uh, there shouldn't be any surprise for you. We suggest uh, you start with uh, removing the, the handlebars, uh, then you remove the tile fairing, uh, then the battery, all the electrical stuff, uh, and uh, in the end you remove also the plastic tray uh, that is under the seat. Guys, it looks a little bit scary, but don't be afraid. Uh, you don't have to do anything with the electrics. You just uh, take them out uh, of the plastic tray and you disconnect the turn signals and the rear uh, light. After you remove the plastic tray, is to release these two bolts to get out the rear light. Uh, you don't need to touch the, the connectors here. Uh, and you can take out also the turn signals if you want to use them. Next step, when the frame subframe is naked, uh, you have to uh, release uh, the bolts holding the uh, holding the exhausts on both sides. Yeah, uh, you move it a little bit away and you insert here uh, the rear uh, top holders. Uh, first, put on the heat shield stickers on both sides, and then put the gas tube on the on the brass, um, and and put the protection. And, and fit it inside the, the battery tray that you get uh, from us. The way to insert the tank, you have to go from inside, from, the f from, from inside the wheel, uh, turn it a little bit and then turn it back. Before, it's important to prepare the tube to go here below the suspension angle. Uh, so you see, you move it like this up, you put the tray somewhere, not important where, and then you just sit the tank on the real wheel. Now you have to insert the button holder. It's important that the connector part goes to the front of the bike. Um, you put it again like this here on the other side. And the important thing also is that it has to be above the full line. Now, quick recap what we did. Uh, first thing, prepare the tile tidy and just catch with two bolts here, don't tie it. Uh, then you see we have here the, the low holder, again just catch it, don't tie it. Uh, then we put the upper hooks, catch it, don't tie it. Uh, you put the, the, the battery uh, rubber holder inside, you, put the you prepare the battery on. Um, and here we put the, the cooler. Um, with the two bolts only and then two bolts in the bottom. Uh, take out the electric connectors uh, from the holder one by uh, one by one yeah this you don't need guys and uh, now we are in stage where you can put back the the tile fairing but before you do that uh, one important thing connect uh, the air outflow from here to here second thing what you need to do you will get the template you will stick it on based on the ra on the holes here and this corner you will see where you have to drill the hole for the filler cup. So after you do it, you put it on, uh, then you start installing the, the hand, hand guards. Uh, and what is important, this bolt in here, in this position next to the filler, don't put there back the original. You have to put there the shorter one you get from us in a package. Because if you put there the longer one, it might interfere with the tank and, and make hole there, so be careful about that. Okay. Now it's a game a bit with the wires, uh, but you can win it, no problem. Uh, so first, uh, take the turn signals and the real light connector, take it under the frame, that's why we said don't tie this, because you push the ta uh, tank a little bit down, you take it up, yeah, you connect it, and, and that's the first thing. Second thing, you connect the battery, so you have it clean in this side and then uh, from the right side of the bike goes this thing um, and then here you have to put the electrics like this and on top you put the fuse and the fuse box. Yeah. Then you have to catch these four balls. Um, we did on, on more Super Enduros, uh, you have to uh, enlarge the holes in a plastic otherwise you are not able to to fit it in um, 
Now detail about the uh, vent line. So you start from here, uh, you connect to, he uh, to this T, then you go down there. Uh, here uh, it's good to zip tie at this place and this place. Uh, leave it a little bit free here uh, so that the, uh, the seat clamps go there. Uh, then you have to lift up the tank. It means you need to release three bolts there, three bolts on the tank, lift it up, take the line uh, below the tank, be careful that it not squeezed, yeah, that there is still the, the possibility for the air ventilation. Here you use the white uh, Y and you connect it like this. Here is the vent cup and it goes to the original outflow from the tank. Now the final stage to connect the auxiliary tank with the, f the, with the front tank. So you have ready already the, the fuel line here. Here you put the petcock. Uh, here you put and here you, you take the tube up to the front. Here you use again the protection tube. Then it's a little bit of game, but to make it easier, uh, the OEM tank has a connection tube. So uh, for better access, here is an OEM petcock and here is hidden the OEM fuel pump. So take out the, the tube from the OEM uh, fuel pump intake and take out the fuel line from the petcock. Then you have easier access. You take then the white L from uh, the white T from us connection and you cut it here. Here is the original KTM T. So cut behind it yeah and cut it about four centimeters so you have still space to fit it next to each other secure with the clamps and then you take you take the clamp on here um, like this and then you connect to the T and then you put everything back together the installation is finished um, so before you go for the first ride we suggest uh, put, in, put inside the tank 1-2 liters and let it stay overnight in your garage uh, just to check that all the clamps and everything is tied correctly and there is no any leakage of the gas also don't forget uh, to release again to open the petcocks of the OEM tank um, and uh, the morning after you can, you can start enjoying the ride with your improved bike